Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com. Today we're doing some delicious grilled chicken thighs with fennel, garlic, and orange. And what happened here is my heart said Italian sausage and my brain said, no, be good, grill some chicken thighs. So what I did here, you'll see all these ingredients in a minute. I took the ingredients, the spices I would use if I was making a sweet Italian sausage, and I'm going to marinate my chicken thighs in it and then grill them. So it was kind of a culinary compromise here. So let me show you what I put in here. This is some orange zest. So I zested about half an orange. All right, I'm going to mince that up. And in a mortar and pestle, I'm going to grind all these delicious ingredients, just like I'm making sausage, but I'm going to use them as a marinade for some chicken. So there's a couple tablespoons of whole fennel seed. Very important, you got to use the whole fennel seed, nothing ground here. I'm going to smash that with the mortar and pestle until, I don't know, it looks like that. It's kind of about halfway smashed. All right, I'm going to add my garlic. That's a lot of garlic. By the way, of course, all the amounts are on the site, as, as well as the fascinating article of how this dish came to be. So I'm going to add my orange zest to the fennel and the garlic, and I'm going to give that a good mashing. Now you'll see, as you, the more ingredients you have in here, and that's why, again, I didn't powder that fennel, the coarseness really makes it easy to ground the, you know, grind the other ingredients. So when it got to that stage, I added my Italian seasoning, and of course this is a time lapse, that took about five minutes of uh, pounding there. A good amount of black pepper, and some sweet paprika that, uh, you know, most of it made it in there. Let me clean that up. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this to some chicken, we're gonna let it marinate, and then we're gonna grill it. Now, I was gonna use this just as is, but then I looked at it and I said, you know what? That thing looks like it needs to be mashed a little more. So I gave it another minute or so, and then I was ready to a marinade. There's my package of chicken thighs, boneless, skinless. It's about 10 thighs in there. I don't know how many pounds that is. I threw the package away. All right, probably two or three pounds. I'm going to squeeze over half an orange and about a teaspoon and a half, maybe a tablespoon of olive oil. And I'm going to add my spice mixture. Now again, to reiterate, the seasoning here, really common. If I was making pork sausage, I would have basically used the same ingredients. But I didn't you know, I, I, well, I did. I did want to make pork sausage, but again, I had chicken thighs. So I'm trying to get the same flavor as a, just a delicious traditional Italian sweet sausage with the fennel and the garlic, but using a different protein. So that's going to go in the fridge for at least two hours. All right. There's a lot of flavor in there, but you got to let it have time to, to get into that chicken. Overnight's even better. All right. Two hours minimum, minimum, five, six hours, eight hours overnight. Like I say, even better. All right, now the, you notice there was no salt in that mix. So there's a nice tablespoon and a half of kosher salt. I'm going to sprinkle that liberally over the chicken. So you don't marinate usually with salt because that draws out the water. So that's why you usually see people salting things right before it goes on the grill. So I'm not going to show you the other side, but I turned these over. I salted both sides, and there is my perfectly white coals, and I'm ready to grill. So these are going to go about six, seven, eight minutes per side. You know when they're done. I can't help you with that. All right. Now, if you want to see how to make that great, the grates of that grill nonstick, check out the tandoori chicken video. I sprayed it with some uh, nonstick canola oil, environmentally safe nonstick canola oil, and uh, it really does make a difference. So that whole package fit on there. I know it looks pretty tight, but as they cook, they shrink up a little bit. There's some shrinkage. And uh, like I say, seven minutes or so, I turned them over. And uh, you can't really see from the light outside, but uh, they're actually a beautiful kind of rusty red color because of the paprika. But the smell smelled exactly like grilled Italian sausage. Why? Because they use the same ingredients. And there we are back inside with our finished plate. Why does it look slightly blurry? Because of the heat waves. All right, but there's the close-up. looks delicious, smells even better, and tasted unbelievable. And there's my beautiful pink oregano blossoms. That's why you got to grow your own herbs. Come on, plant some oregano. Go to the site, read how I made chicken taste like Italian sausage, and most of all, enjoy. <laughs>